Hey pals, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video, I'll be showing you pals the best tips I use to make neons faster in Adopt Me. And I'm saying this because these are the best tips I've ever came across. And they work for me, so they should work for you pals. Before we do get started, make sure you like and subscribe, turn on the post notifications to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And let's get started on with this video. The first tip I have for you pals is to stack up on food and this could be like any food in the game but it's very easy to stack up on food. So yeah pals, basically I suggest this tip because if you want to feed your pet it's very easy to go into your backpack and get some food and feed your pet and yeah it's accessible as well. So I am at the hospital and also you can get golden apples as well. I did forget to mention that but you can get golden apples because in case your pet is sick you don't have to go all the way to the hospital you can feed your pets the golden apples also i like to clarify but i do think the golden apples just lost like in the game like when you switch servers they don't stay in your backpack and i'm pretty sure they're free as well so yeah i do recommend stacking up on golden apples whenever you join a server so it's much easier so you don't have to walk all the way to the hospital so yeah i do recommend stacking up on golden apples in your inventory so i am at the supermarket now and let's go buy some food all right pals so i've actually stacked up my inventory with a bunch of foods i bought from the supermarket I recommend this tip for making neons faster because it's easier to access food and you don't have to be feeding your pets. And yeah, it's just quicker. I have a few foods in my inventory, so I'm stacked up whenever I want to make neon pets. The next tip I have for you pals is stack up on hyperspeed potions. Hyperspeed potions are very useful when you're making neons. Basically, I just go to food and I have about eight hyperspeed potions. They are really useful and also they actually make you faster. This is very useful. So I have about eight of them in my inventory. I'm going to drink one to show you an example. So I actually drank in the hyperspeed potion. So as you can see, while I walk, it has a stronger effect. I'm going to drink another one. As you can see, I drank the second one. As you can see, I'm much more faster. I'm going to drink one more to see if I've like gotten more faster or not. So as you can see, I drank the third one and I am more speedy. You guys can see how much quick I got. And it's very useful if you guys want to get to areas quick. If you don't want to use your backpack all the time. I definitely recommend it for making neons. And you don't have to like teleport to places. If you want to access or get the hyperspeed potions, it's actually up in the potion shop. And it's actually like, if you guys don't know where the potion shop is, it's like in the sky kind of. It's a bit hidden, but you'll get to see it. Alright pals, right now I am going to be buying some hyperspeed potions. They're only 40 bucks, so I'm only going to be buying three of them. So now I've got the eight that I used before. The next tip I have for you pals is to use your backpack. If you don't want to have to spend extra money, I do recommend using your backpack to teleport to places. It's really just much easier and you're literally just going to get the job done faster. Yeah, so basically you can teleport to the gifts, um, to the nursery, potion. I mean, I don't think they're potion place, but you can do nursery, pet wear area, accessory shop. You can teleport to the baby strollers area, food, the supermarket, all them places. And it's just much easier if you don't want to spend some money. The next tip I have for you pals is to use all accounts and this is a definitely recommended tip if you want to make your neon pets faster. Usually it's good to use all accounts. Most of the time you get your task during the same time and it just speeds up the process of making your neon pets faster. Also another tip I have for you pals is you can ask a trusted friend to help you with like making your neon pets. This process is faster as well. But I do recommend make sure they are trusted. 
And let's move on to the next tip. The next tip I have for you pals is to trade your full grown pets for overpays. For example, if you are making new ones and you have a pet you rarely ever use, and let's say it's full grown, I do recommend trading it because you're most likely to get overpays. When people do make new ones on Adopt Me, they're most likely to trade for full grown because a lot of people most of the time don't like aging up their pets, so they usually trade for full grown. So most of the time they would overpay for them. And when they do overpay for them, you can get profit as well. And also, if you maybe are lucky, it depends on the rarity of the pet. You can get double the pet because your pet is full grown. This has worked with me many times. And yeah, I also use it as a tip to grow my inventory at the same time as well. Anyways, let's move on to the last tip. The last tip I have for you, pals, is to keep yourself entertained while making neons. For example, let's all be real, whenever you make neons on Adopt Me and you have no entertainment around you or on, it could sometimes get a bit boring, maybe even tiring, or you maybe might think of quitting. But when you are entertained by a show or something, it speeds up the process. For example, you could have a movie on or something, a Netflix show, you could have on maybe your favorite YouTubers while making your neon pets. So yeah, I do recommend having something on while making new ones. And yeah, those are really all the tips for this video. Anyways, pals, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you pals go watch part one of when I did it. But these are my other tips that have helped me. Also, be sure to follow me on Roblox. My account is on the screen. And make sure you turn on the post notifications to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And I will see you pals all in the next video. Bye pals!